Welcome to battle number seven of week number seven of the FNF Victory Road Draft League season two. This battle is going to be pitting Colin's team, which is Blitz City Haxorus, versus Quasimodo's team, which is Pitiful Punching Bags. As a reminder, the Mega Pokemon we have are Mega Lopini and Mega Alakazam, respectively. Additionally, we have Haxorus with Z Attack Privilege, Como, uh, sorry, uh, Tapu Coco with Z Any Privilege, and we also have Kartana with Z Any Privilege on Quasimodo's team. This battle is looking like it will be really intense. Pretty much a bunch of offensive Pokemon here. I, uh, Colin said earlier, this battle is not going to last more than 10 turns on either side. So it looks like it will be a destruction fest. The big question is going to be who will be able to seize the momentum and be able to take the battle for themselves. I think that is what each trainer is going to try to do in this battle. There are some really offensive Pokemon, some boosting Pokemon. Mimikyu is going to be a good savior for Quasimodo if uh, he needs it versus Colin. Colin can also use uh, Talonflame, which has priority if he needs it. Um, I don't know if Stealth Rock is going to go up, but we'll see. It's looking like it's going to be a really hot battle, very intense between both sides. Let's just jump right into it. I think um, Rotom Wash would be a really good lead considering Quasimodo has been leading Greninja a lot. Uh, but it's actually going to be Talonflame and Wubbuffet Pogafet, the Wubbuffet versus Talonflame. Talonflame does have access to U-Turn though, so it could just pivot right out of there. But if Wubbuffet goes for a counter, then it'll hit whatever comes in very hard. Curious to see though if this Talonflame has access to um, maybe like Will-O-Wisp or some sort of defensive move to try to trip up Wubbuffet. Interesting to go for that Wubbuffet lead right off the bat. And indeed a U-turn is going to do some really big damage. Thirty-seven percent, but if Web Effect goes for the counter, whatever comes in will be hit hard. Mold Breaker Haxorus comes out. Encore is not going to work because it was U-Turn that was used. So now Haxorus is free to maybe go for a really strong wall-breaking move. It might be enough to take down Web Effect. Web Effect can go for a counter or for an Encore. Now that Colin knows that Wubbuffet is fishing for that Encore to set up an opportunity for him to be able to sweep. Um, he might go for something else, or maybe Haxorus has a Shed Shell, who knows. Substitute is actually the move Haxorus will use. Destiny Bond is used by Quasimodo. This is looking like it's really in Colin's favor. Colin prepared for Wubbuffet. Haxorus is just gonna go for the Dragon Dance though. And an Encore is going to mean that Haxorus is going to continue Dragon Dancing. Quasimodo has some time to switch out to try and take advantage of the fact that Haxorus is just going to be boosting. But it is going to be tough considering that Haxorus already has a boost up and it's behind a substitute. He's going to have to break the substitute and also um, try and get some big damage on the rest of Haxorus as well. Mold Breaker also means that uh, Mimikyu won't be able to use Disguise against Haxorus. So Haxorus, if it has Iron Tail, for example, it's destroying Mimikyu. Mimikyu is going to set up a Swords Dance on its own. This Haxorus is now extremely speedy. It is continuing to Swords Dance. And a Play Rough is going to hit the Substitute, taking it away. And Mimikyu loses some HP, but now Haxorus has its Encore. It's, uh, sorry, it's Encore ended, correct? Poison Jab's going to hit through that Substitute on Mimikyu due to Mold Breaker. And now we have a three attack and three speed Haxorus set up. This is pretty much a really good moment for Colin right now. He is pretty much, he has so much momentum right now. Quasimodo is going to 
really have to pull something out of somewhere to try to to turn this around. If he has a focus sash, that might be enough for him to be able to turn this around. Brett, the Kartana comes out. Kartana can hit hard. Uh, Superpower is going to take it down though. And Haxorus is still sitting pretty comfortably at huge attack. In comes Wubbuffet. But as we saw, Haxorus does have the ability to just go for a substitute again. But he decides to actually go for the poison jab, and that's enough to take down Wubbuffet. Barbarical is the next one to come out. Even with a Shell Smash, Barbarical won't be able to outspeed Haxorus, so he's just going to have to go for, um, like, a Stone Edge, probably, to try to take down Haxorus. It does have lower defense. But Haxorus is sitting pretty comfortably right now. And a superpower is going to hit hard, taking it down to 1% with that Focus Sash. And now a Stone Edge takes out Haxorus. Its reign is over, but there are still five more Pokemon on that team. And Lopini is probably going to come out to go for the Fake Out. Actually, no, it's Tapu Koko that comes out, maybe going for a Volt Switch instead. Tapu Koko is going to be really hard for Quasimodo to deal with. And Discharge does huge damage, taking down Barbarical. The score is now 5-2. Greninja comes out. Interesting that he sends out Greninja instead of Mega Alakazam, and Greninja's gonna go down just as fast as it came out. In comes Vra the Alakazam. It is 5-1 now. Alakazam's gonna trace that Electric Surge. Discharge is gonna do pretty huge damage and Paralyze. A Psychic does take down Tapu Koko, but with Paralyzed Alakazam and Megalopony with Fake Out, it seems like this could be the match. And indeed, Fake Out takes down Mega Alakazam, and there we have it. A very fast match between Colin and Quasimodo. 4-0 score for Colin. That was extremely quick. That is the hyper offense versus hyper offense. Um, yeah, uh, I think Quasimodo's biggest downfall in this was not knowing that Mold Breaker was going to go through Mimikyu. Um, also, the Wubbuffet lead made him lose a lot of momentum and Colin really capitalized on that Wubbuffet lead by using Substitute and just boosting. Even with an Encore up, Quasimodo had to switch and then he also Swords Dance up and then he also attacked. So even with that Encore turns up, um, Colin was pretty safe behind that Substitute and ultimately I think that's what really gave him that momentum to fly forward with that with Haxorus. So good match and stay tuned for some more matches of week seven coming up. This is Noel from Sun and Friendly and I'll see you then.